And also this weekend, the American Heart Association Heart and Stroke Walk Along the Riverfront. Our colleague Syria Sandlin will be the MC. And joining us this afternoon, this afternoon is John Handel, this year's featured survivor. John, thank you so much for spending some of your time with us. I want to give you as much time to share your story as possible. So take our viewers back to last October and share what you experienced. Sure. Um, I was inducted into the Elkhorn Area High School Hall of Fame as a coach. I've coached here and worked in the school for 28 years. And just after the ceremony was over, um, I went into cardiac arrest. And, you know, thankfully I was in a school that was about 50 feet away from an AED machine. And also there were three different people there, a nurse, uh, a cop who had had some training in it, and then another person um, who had been an EMT that were there. Um, and thankfully, you know, all things were, uh, you know, came up spades for me that day. So I um, you know, pretty thankful to be alive, pretty thankful I was where I was at when it happened. And um, yeah, that's my story. And you talk about the proximity of being to that AED, an automated external defibrillator. Uh, your story sounds very similar to something we've seen nationally, especially your ties with athletics and DeMar Hamlin with the Buffalo Bills in Cincinnati. That medical team getting honored uh, so much. Um, can you talk to us about the importance of AEDs as well as CPR? Yeah, I know the American Heart Association is raising money to try to get as many AEDs into as many schools as possible and then just get as many people trained. So if you haven't had any training in it, um, it seems like there's been all kinds of examples of cardiac arrest and those types of things that have popped up on the news. And obviously, uh, getting as many people trained and getting those um, devices into public places, especially schools, is obviously very helpful and, and has saved um, you know multiple people's lives, including my own. And when you share your story and when you see the story of Damar Hamlin and folks who survived because of this uh, life-saving access to these uh, instruments and this uh, this medical practice, kind of walk me through how you how that makes you feel. Yeah, when that happened, it was a weird feeling. I had a bunch of friends reach out to me that night and ask me about it. Um, I think it just kind of shows that there's a good in, in all kinds of people. Um, Damar Hamlin was obviously pretty fortunate to be where he was at when it happened. And his was kind of an unfortunate uh, incident like mine was. But to have that many people around that are that trained, um, it's nice to know that there's a lot of good people out there uh, looking to do the right work and helping people out when they're in need of that. And we certainly appreciate uh, your time with us, John Handel, and sharing your personal story. And we will continue to pass along the importance of CPR training. And we look forward to seeing you this weekend at the American Heart Association Heart and Stroke Walk.